Yeah, this is the road that I'm going down today. Acorns are a... fruit. Yeah, they are the fruit of the oak tree. And they are a major form of nutrition for squirrels, deer, birds, mice, all kinds of little woodland creatures just love acorns. They're also a um, very popular thing for bugs. Bugs like to burrow inside the acorn, fill it with their larva, and the larva will eat the nut from the inside and then escape the nut. I am not excited to eat this. Acorns throughout history have been eaten by humans. I know that not too many people are into this kind of thing nowadays. It's mostly uh, used for people who are, you know, surviving in the wild. And if you look around at other YouTube videos, uh, you'll see a lot of people who are processing acorns, like, out in the like the mountains like up in like the forest like people who are like living off the grid and all that me i i'm living in a new york city apartment so i'm not going to be doing this uh their way and doing it on like wood stove i'm not doing this for survival i'm going to give you like the new yorker opinion on acorns and if they're useful so uh if you <laughs> if you want to be like making some sort of like dinner party or something and serve some acorns uh, you know, in your condo in in Williamsburg, I'm your man. If you want to be making acorns, you know, because you're like living out in the Adirondacks or something, um, I don't know like how useful my information will be. Uh, Native Americans have historically depended on acorn for a major part of their um, of their food. See, like, acorns have a lot of nutrition in them. There's a lot of fat and protein in these, a lot of vitamins. It's, uh, it's a good thing to have. But uh, these days, Native Americans don't really dig on these quite so much. But occasionally, um, some traditional recipes come out for, like, certain kind of, like, festivals and celebrations, I guess. In Korea, they have something called acorn jelly. And what they do is they make a flour out of the acorns. It's more like a starch. So that starch can make this kind of like jello kind of material, like a firm jello. You may notice that these acorns are a little bit more elongated than the ones that you see in the cartoons. So that's because these are from the white oak, not the red oak. The red oak are a little more squat and a little wider. This one you see is a little bit longer. It's got a smaller cap. Let's just get that little guy off of there. And uh, white oak are preferable for human consumption because they have less tannins in them. The uh, red oak has a lot more. They are very, very bitter and kind of like astringent tasting if you were to eat those. And actually, if you were to eat like a lot of acorns, it can do some serious damage to you. You don't want to do it. See, squirrels and other kinds of animals, like they are a little bit more adept at processing those tannins. Uh, humans aren't, so you can't just like pick up acorns off the ground and start chowing down on them. At least not in any kind of like great quantity. Here is a, a raw piece of acorn that I got out of that shell. And just to give you an idea of what this tastes like. It's not that bitter because it is from the white oak, but it's not like terrible, but your body just, it knows that it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing it. The flavor is kind of interesting though. It tastes a lot like pecans, but bitter and woody and not as good. In order to make these um, palatable, you need to leach out those tannins, and you do that in um, a couple different ways. The most uh, practical way would be to do it with a cold processing method where you take the acorns, you shell them, you cut them up, and you put them in water, and every day you change out the water. And over time, it, the water slowly leaches out all the tannins on the inside. Um, you could also do it from boiling. 
And depending what you want to do with the acorns, you can do it. Uh, you can choose which one's best suits what you're what you're doing with it. If you want to make acorn flour, then you should cold process it because the acorn flour loses its like binding properties if you cook it first. So if you cold process it, it retains all of that. If you're going to use it like a nut, like roast them or candy them or something like that, uh, do it either way. Do it the boiling way because it's faster. You can probably tell that a lot of these are already, uh, you see that, they're germinating a little bit. So little sprouts coming out. This is not supposed to really affect it too much. It changes the uh, the structure a little bit. I believe it like has less fat when this happens. It breaks down the fat a little bit, and it gets a little bit more um, more sugars in there. But uh, it should still be okay. And you want to sort these as well. So you go through and look for any holes that might be in them. I think that these are all okay. You just want to make sure you're not going to be eating any bugs because that would be gross. Uh, and because these are germinating a little bit, these are going to be pretty easy to crack. If you want to ease the process up a little bit, you can um, boil these for a couple of minutes to loosen up the shells. But uh, I think that these are actually okay. I also have... Yeah, see these are splitting pretty easily. It's not too difficult to do, but it is a little time consuming. A little more time consuming than, you know, your typical nut. But, uh, that's the, that's the inside of the acorn right there. Mind my dirty fingers, I've been doing all sorts of foraging lately. And that just kind of happens. So, about an hour and 30 minutes later, and this is what I have. I have, I don't know, about two cups of acorns and a whole lot of mess everywhere on my floor but uh, yeah very important to keep a good lookout when you're going through here because these ones here it's not a whole lot maybe I don't know like eight or so if you look there's some stuff moving in there see that yeah that was inside one and uh, yeah there you go there's another one pretty freaking gross but here what you're looking for is you see these little black spots like that that is bad you do not want that little uh, little holes like that you don't want that if you look at that you see there's like little little black spots on that I think that's okay but if you see you know a large black spot like that there could be a worm in there yeah so I don't know I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling like, you know, going through here and like personally looking at them, I think I got everything out. But uh, yeah, definitely, if you're gonna be doing this, keep out a good eye for it because um, this is a wild food and you know, there might have been something that got to it before you did. I am boiling the acorns to remove the tannins. Now, um, a lot of people, what they'll do is to speed up the process is actually chop these up in a blender first. It's especially useful if you're using red acorns, but because I'm using white acorns and because I think I'm going to either like spice or candy these, uh, I want to keep them whole. So what that means is that it might just take a little bit longer. What you do is you boil this for about 10 minutes and then you change out the water. And as you see, like the water here is pretty murky, you want this to be clear, or at least pretty close to clear. And uh, as you're also doing this, you want to kind of like try to scoop out some of the, the seed coat. They still have a little bit of that brown skin on it. So as you're doing this, you're going to want to like try to get some of that out of here. So it's about time to change the water. And there we have it, another 10 minutes in. And uh, I'll give these another try. Yeah, that's good. I, I don't want to do it anymore because maybe maybe it's not good to boil them so much that there's no flavor left. I think maybe a little bit of bitterness might be okay. You know, before I said it tasted a little bit like a pecan. It still does, but when you cook it, 
uh, it tastes a little bit like chestnut as well. It's kind of like if you were to take pecans and chestnuts and kind of like mix them together, but uh, added a lot of nuttiness. It's much more nutty tasting, and it's like a little woody tasting, a little earthy tasting, but um, not bad. You know, it tastes pretty good. I can't see people just kind of like eating these on their own. Um, they're a little, they're a little lacking. But if you cook them in some way, if you add, um, you know, like if you roast them with like some salt or something, it might be okay. Or if you spice them, it might be okay. Uh, what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to actually candy them. For every cup of acorns, you want first one tablespoon of butter melted. Next, put in your nuts and coat. One fourth cup of sugar and one teaspoon of spices. You could use whatever you want. I'm using a mixture of um, cinnamon, nutmeg, cayenne pepper, and uh, I think that, and then some cloves. You do whatever the hell you want. Uh, also, one teaspoon of salt and throw that guy in there. mix. Yeah, so that was way too liquidy, so I just threw in another uh, half a cup of sugar on here, and uh, what I'm looking for is just for all that liquid to kind of like evaporate a little bit. You don't want it to burn, but uh, you do want it to kind of like soak up most of that liquid so it doesn't just turn into, you know, nut soup. Okay, and pour that all out onto a baking sheet. You can see that it's still bubbling away. This stuff is really, really hot, so I know it looks very tempting, but try not to eat it right yet because it will blister your insides. Yeah. And here we are, a nice little clump of candied acorns. Now that is really really good. To be fair, I could probably put that that sugar and spice on just about anything and it would make it taste good. If you were to take acorns and prepare them and use them the same way you would use pecans, you would have a very cheap, though be it tedious, substitute for pecans. Pecans are like ten dollars a pound. Acorns are completely free provided you take the time to shell them and leach out the tannins and do like all that stuff. If you have the time, uh, try it out, because that's really good. On their own, they leave a little bit to be desired, but um, they work really well in uh, recipes. Like if you were to use these the way you use like pecans, you've got something really, really good there. So um, acorns, yeah was not expecting to like these, but here we are. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here, click on me, and it'll, be, it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. I, I made this video too long. Um, yeah, you can, if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos there's, there's one over here, you can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode, and yeah. Oh yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful, and um, like it, like it's good, L liking it is good. Um, and leave a comment, if you want to leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think, if you liked it, you hated it. Yeah, um...
Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.